Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to make a sorting system that is suitable for both the overworld and for the nether. Let's have a quick look and see how it works. This hopper at the top is where the items go in, this is where the sorted items come out, and this hopper in the middle here is the filter. So we have some items that are not um, going to be found in the game otherwise, so I've renamed some melons and we have 41 nether quartz ore which is going to be our filter and there is one extra one down in here so I've put 42 into the system because one always gets trapped in the bottom hopper and let's see how it works so we put the rest of these in there and they will filter slowly back through down into the chest at the bottom there there you are there you go and nothing else will be able to go through so if we wanted to sort these none of those are making their way down to the chest. So it's as simple as that and it's nice and easy to tile as it's one block wide. Now if you want to make this item sorter these are the items that you'll need. The top row shows the number of items you need for a single row of the item sorter. So if you wanted to build a number that's not listed here you can use that and times it by the number of item rows that you need. The second row in the middle is for eight items being sorted and the row at the bottom is for 16 items being sorted. And of course you'll need an anvil to rename your items and also an extra hopper to feed into the line so that um, all the items can flow in a single direction. This is how we're going to make the item sorter. We're going to put a solid block here and then a target block next to it with a gap in between. On the back of the target block we put a redstone torch and then we put some redstone dust here and on our solid block and then we put a glass block on top of the redstone dust there and a blob of redstone on the top there. Okay now we're going to put a solid block on top of the torch there and if we're careful we can get one on the side of the redstone there and then place a comparator facing into this block here from the hopper. Now we're going to put four temporary blocks here and then we're going to swing around the back and put two more here and here. Now if we come back around this side again we are going to put one hopper in there, one hopper in there and then one hopper facing into that one there. Okay so the last one is going to be facing away from the direction that we were. So you can see there that one's facing to the right whereas these two are facing forwards over here. Now we're going to get a chest and place that here. Oops, <laughs> maybe place it here and that is where the items are going to be sorted into. Okay so we've nearly finished the item sorter so we're going to put our four unsortable items in here like this and then we're going to put the nether quartz ore in there and of course one drops down into here and now it's ready for all the rest of the quartz when it gets filtered to come into the chest. That is the completed item sorter. With the item sorter complete, all we need to do to turn it from a one item sorter to an eight item sorter is just to co copy it in its entirety all the way across from one side to the other. And I'm going to do that now. Here we go, the eight item sorter is now complete and what we're going to do is we're going to test it by running a shulker box through it and seeing if all the items run through all the filters which we've set up in here correctly. And what we do is we'll also add a chest onto the end here, which can be quite useful if you haven't sorted out your shulker boxes at all. What will happen is we will also add this to our um, shulker box and see if it can be sorted even though it's not in our item filters. So let's put that in there and see how it manages that. So we grab that and pop this up on the top here and that should start filtering through and in a moment we'll see what happens to the chest plate. 
Right, there we go, the chest plate has disappeared into the system, so let's go and find out what's happened to it. Hopefully it hasn't ended up in any of the filters. It should be in the end here. There we go, so we're going to leave that to um, filter everything through, and hopefully everything will come out where it's supposed to. Okay, all the items have finished filtering and they are now in their respective chests and we have the items underneath as blocks so you can tell what's what. When we break the shulker box it'll flow through the system and because it has no filter it'll end up in the chest there with that chain chest plate. And there we are, it is complete. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope the item sorter will be useful in your Minecraft world. Please leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more and watch the video at the end of this one to see how I use this in my Minecraft survival series Rocket World. So have fun and see you later.